Hey guys, Pilot Chicken and once again from Garage Gym. Wanted to give you guys a quick product review, something I've had for a few weeks now, um, since December. I bought it during the holidays. Um, this is called the uh, Viking Press Handle. I got this from Titan Fitness. A few other places sell it. Um, I don't know if they sell offer free shipping the way uh, Titan Fitness bought it. I mean, sold it for. I got it for $43 um, to my house. Um, first off, the shipping took about four business days. The packaging, packaging didn't really you know, survive the trip very well, but I don't notice anything really wrong with the, uh, functionally wrong with the Viking Press Handle. It's, it's, it's very level, very robust. Um, looks like the steel is well made. It's two inch steel. The powder co coating, I haven't really noticed any damaging, damage to it whatsoever, including the, uh, the shipment. The, um, the rubber end cap here is a little bit, I mean, the plastic end cap is a little bit dented, but you know, it's a non-issue, it doesn't really, uh, you know, it's not a detriment to the functionality of the product whatsoever. Um, looks like this thing is made from a two inch steel tube, hollow. Um, it's not too heavy, it's probably a good 10, 12 pounds. Um, it has a really good heft to it. Um, the steel itself is pretty smooth. Um, I would prefer if they did add some knurling, but I could see how that would definitely add to the cost and um, you know, pretty much the bottom line for the consumer. Me personally, um, you know, th this has been quite a bit of a, I put it through the ringer, I've used it quite a bit, um, I've used it on push days, press days, explosive days, um, definitely do some high rep work, more so high rep work than, um, you know, definitely than heavier loads, I definitely um, don't wanna do that. Um, I use this with my landmine attachment and a barbell. Um, the barbell, a two inch barbell Olympic bar definitely works with this. I don't believe that the one inch uh, standard barbell will fit this whatsoever. Um, but it definitely works great. I like how there's space right here for you to say rest, um, rest the bar on your shoulders and uh, you know space for your head so you don't hit your, your noggin when you're doing heavier loads. Um, the only uh, complaint I have is that um, since the tubing is so smooth when you're, uh, when you're definitely, you know, your, your hands are sweaty deep into the sets, deep into the workout, it's really easy to lose the grip. But um, in, in that matter, you could definitely bail on this, but I wouldn't recommend it. It'll hurt your bar, it'll hurt your landmine, it'll hurt your floors. So um, it's a great buy. I'm going to give you guys a quick workout video. Um, I'm going to explain some thoughts on this. Um, quick note. If any of you guys uh, are familiar with the jammer attachment from Rogue, I think that this is actually uh, an economical um, uh, alternative to that movement. Um, I used to use the jammer when I played football um, back in, you know, in high school. It was a great work uh, implement in order for you to uh, train your explosiveness. Um, and I think this is a really good alternative to it. Um, nothing really bad to say. Um, you know, there's a little, uh, here you could put like a little nut in order to tighten it around the, uh, the end of the barbell so the barbell doesn't move. Um, you know, Titan came up with another great product, the welding. Um, it's, it's kind of a, it's not the best welding, it's not the prettiest welding, but it definitely gets the job done. Um, nothing really uh, jagged, nothing will hurt your hands, your wrists, your calluses here. Um, definitely a great product. I definitely do recommend if you have a um, landmine attachment at home. All right, guys, I'm going to give you guys a quick workout video, some more of my thoughts, and uh, you know, enjoy. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you my setup. First of all, this is a cheap barbell. Never um, use a barbell that you, you find precious or something that you don't want to damage when you do this type of work or landmine work. Um, I've actually had this bar for a couple of years now. This is a nylon bushing um, barbell. It's, it's a no-name brand. Um, I got it from Sports Authority or or Dick Sporting Goods. I forgot the Nerling's real passive. Um, I got it for like eighty dollars a few years ago. Anyways, if I'm if I'm am to bend this with this setup, as you can see, I have the band peg here. If I'm to bend this with this setup, it won't really be a detriment because um, it's not really for you know cleans or bench or squat or whatever. Um, this is mostly just for the landmine. I set up my uh, Rogue Monster landmine in the back of the rack, as you can see here. Um, the the Viking press handle is going to sit on this opposite end, um, and this is going to be a really nice setup for jammer type motion, you know, some press type moves, and I'll be showing you guys exactly how that is done.
Hi guys. So as I go through my workout today, I wanted to kind of give you guys an explanation on exactly what I'm going to be using this piece of workout equipment for and why I recommend it so. Um, earlier, I, you know, I mentioned that it is very reminiscent of a jammer. Um, a jammer or uh, nowadays, I believe Rogue or Insorinex and several other companies sell a piece of equipment that attaches to the rack where you can push in this uh, plane of movement, you know, with explosiveness, with force. Um, I believe that this piece of equipment definitely has a lot of carryover um, in, say, a football field. Not only a football field, but like a boxing ring or the wrestling mat. Um, it allows you to train with explosiveness. Um, you could quantify your strength levels by adding weight and decreasing weight. And you could definitely, you know, titrate the, uh, the reps, um, the sets, and things of that nature. I feel like this piece of equipment, um, it's very space efficient. Um, you definitely get a really good bang for your buck for only $43. Pairing it with a landmine definitely gives you a lifetime of workouts. Um, the, the only weak part I would say in this type of piece of equipment is um, definitely the barbell. You definitely have to be, you know, careful with the barbells you choose and how you, um, you treat it overall. And that'll definitely give you uh, a better lifetime for the product that you're using it for. Um, it's a great secondary piece of equipment. It's not necessarily absolutely vital. Um, you know, you definitely, in the hierarchy, you definitely um, have to get your power rack first for safety. You have to get your barbells and weights, uh, things of that nature. But this is definitely a good secondary piece of equipment. It's good to add into your workouts. And, you know, um, and to be honest, it's actually a pretty good workout in itself. If, if all you do is go to the gym and, and, you know, work with this type of um, workout session. Like I said, it's definitely a good carryover to real life situations. Um, this definitely teaches you to explode into a weight, um, you know, like, uh, and you could definitely use it um, to strengthen your, uh, your punching ability, the, your ability to throw a, a football or a baseball, or, you know, it, do get in an altercation in a real life situation, you're able to push somebody away much more effectively and be much more um, confident in that, you know, in that matter. All right, guys. Um, thank you guys for watching. That's my review of this piece of equipment. Um, please do hit that like button. It definitely helps. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.